Hey everyone, my name is Austin and welcome back to SOT Sports Cards. We have a new release to open up. I feel like I haven't said that in quite some time, but this is, I would say, one of the more underrated products that's been kind of popping up over the last, I guess, two years at this point uh, since its comeback last year is some Classics Football. Um, I missed it when I got back into the hobby. I got back in technically in early 2020. It was no longer part of like the normal lineup, kind of replaced by Legacy. And since that point in 2021, they brought it back with that like six card kind of, I forget what it's called. I think it's premium edition uh, hobby box. And they also do a hobby hybrid version, which I have here that I'm very, very excited about. It's got that like throwback design to it. Some fun inserts, uh, really highlighting like legends and some fun like Monday night games and stuff. Some cool numbered stuff. There's also some cool like chromium cards in here uh, with some different parallels. We'll see a ton of that. Uh, I opened one of these last year and I've opened some packs on the channel before. So very excited for this. I've kind of stayed away from the design of everything just to be truly surprised. But we're looking for these right here. These H2 exclusive purple autograph parallels numbered to 25 or less. There's six numbered parallels per box. There's these classic clashes inserts. Here's kind of the breakdown on the back if you're interested. It's a 200 card set. Not too bad. So very, very excited. Got some numbered cards here, some silver cards. Very clean. Um, not too bad, honestly, for a price point, all things considered. Picked this up from Peninsula Sports Cards in California. Shout out to those guys. I picked up my Classics box from them last year as well. So we'll see here. I also just love these types of boxes. Very cool. The um, packs themselves kind of remind me. I think it's, gosh, I forget if it's 2003 or 2004 for like tops and Topps Chrome and stuff when they would do that field on the packs. But box had some like weight to it not gonna lie we've got that festive background it's the holiday season as i'm recording this we're i think about a week out from christmas so hopefully you're enjoying the holiday season let me know in the comments what you're asking santa for what uh what your favorite gift has been recently from a card collecting standpoint anything like that as we kind of get rolling here very loud truck just got started behind me. All right, I do have a chrome card in here, so this will be a good like baseline pack. Here's your design, classics design, lowercase font. You got the logo, very nice. Got the fun facts. Kyler's uncle Calvin played professional baseball. Very cool. I really like this this year. Stephon Diggs, Damian Harris, starting with some PC cards. I like that white outline too. All right. Here's a look at a chrome rookie. We've got two chrome cards here. Quay Walker. Got that rookie's design there. And Dallas Goddard here. I'll do this. The gnomes in the background here are going to hold down the fort. Some base. We'll get some chromes. And then we've got a parallel. This might be a numbered parallel. It's that timeless out of 99, very fitting that it's Dalvin Cook. As I'm filming this, that Vikings uh, Colts game just wrapped up. Biggest comeback in NFL history. Shout out Matt Ryan. I mean, it's going through a lot, but Dalvin Cook, that's numbered out of 99, 5999. Numbered pile. Then we got Legends. It should end with, oh, I was going to say it should end with two Legends, but it's Legends and Rookies. Kyle Hamilton. Not too bad. There are a lot of Legends cards. I'm going to go back and forth here. Um, hopefully there's some cool throwback Patriots for the PC. I'm looking for C-Mac, looking for Brady. I saw some cool Brady inserts with like the red Pats unis. Derrick Henry. Cooper Cup. There we go, right on cue, C-Mac. Love it. I can't wait for his Niners cards to come out. The C-Mac guy in the Bay Area. That'll be pretty cool. I'm actually going to put this. Off to the side over here. Donovan McNabb. That's a cool one. On the chrome. These look pretty sweet. Like I would, obviously that's what the hobby edition is. Is that like chrome design everywhere? Like a whole box of this. Pretty nice. 
Mike Williams. Another numbered card. This one's super short print. It's a no name of Rich Gannon, four of ten. That's pretty sweet. Rich has served as a football analyst since retired. I'm not a huge fan of no names, I'm gonna be honest, but if it's numbered out of ten, if that's like the special part of it, that's pretty cool. They do no names in Donruss, and it might be like numbered out of five hundred or something. Jerry Rice, and I guess we should have a rookie here. Christian Watson. It's a cool one. He's been going off for the Packers recently. Not too bad. There are 80 cards in this box, so hopefully it's not a super long video. But appreciate you watching nonetheless. If we get a hit at... Ooh. That's all you need to see right there. That's what I was talking about with these cool parallels. Zeke. Deontay Johnson. If we can get a hit out of this box, I'd be impressed. All right. Matt Ryan, right on cue. A.J. Brown on the Eagles. We've got, oh, this is cool. Banner season. Super Bowl. Let's see if I got my numerals. Would that be 15? I might be way off. Oh, wait. I don't know. I feel like I'm way off on that. No, that would be 14. Where is that? Oh, it's hidden behind the helmet. Banner season, Terry Bradshaw. I might have just completely embarrassed myself, but I'm pretty sure that's 14. Very cool. And then our sweet green cracked ice parallels, Amari Cooper. Isn't that timeless? It should be numbered on the back. Yeah, 17 at 25. A nice like print line there. You can see that. It's a cool card though. I love these parallels out of classics. Put that over here. These piles are just going to be spinning around with the chrome. But James Harrison and right behind him, George Pickens. That was a Steelers pack. You got Bradshaw. You got a couple legends. All right. We will definitely be opening up more of this on the channel in some capacity, whether it's random pack openings, maybe even another box at some point. Again, price point is not too crazy. There we go. We got a, I think that's gold hyper. Not too bad. Jacoby Myers. Uh, yeah, let's stick it over here. Mike Evans. Austin Eckler. Great name. Got a rookie of Garrett Wilson. He's been playing well. Jets, we'll see how they do without a uh, good old Mike White this weekend. Zach Wilson's back in the fray. We got George Kittle. He had a great game. We got Roger Staubach. Staubach. On that gold hyper. Yellow hyper. Looks gold. Should be numbered again. 12 out of 99. Co-owned a NASCAR team for a few years. Cool one. We've got Eddie George and Isaiah Spiller for the Chargers. Right. It says three numbered Optichrome parallels. We still have some silvers that we got to get. Could obviously have an autograph, which would be sweet. I've not gotten a hit out of classics. I feel like the, each of the last two years, I've been very tempted to drop some money on the premium edition. Cam Akers, DJ Moore. Famous Jameis, Jeff Saturday. This is this box is harsh. The day of, he's probably not going to last long in Indy. AJ Dillon on that throwback jersey, or I guess New Jersey's. I don't know. AJ streams on Twitch. A lot of print lines. I gotta look. Kinda, yeah. There might just be some print lines on the Chrome cards. Not a huge deal, all things considered. We've got another numbered card. It was a blue Jack Lambert out of 125. Kind of tough to see there. Blue Timeless. Timeless Tributes. Very nice. There's a lot of value here, I would say. Jonathan Ogden and then Devin Lloyd. You're getting some good numbered cards. Last year, again, I opened up one box, and I've opened up other packs and stuff, but you're getting cards numbered out of 10. I had a Chrome. 
is John Elway and Terrell Davis. I don't know if I still have the card, but it was numbered out of five, like probably one of the shorter print cards I've ever owned. It's number four or five. But good stuff in here. C.D. Lamb, Keenan Allen, Josh Allen. Let's see how he does in the stone tonight. Mac Jones. Cool one. He's actually bounced back. I know he's getting a bad rep, but I've been liking what I'm seeing from Mac Jones. I hope the Pats make it into the playoffs here, but that's going to go in the corner. Classic beginnings. I will say these looked a little better last year. But Christian Watson. We got another numbered card. Saquon Barkley out of red, 41 of 75. Got Jack Lambert again. And we've got Wandale Robinson. I'm a big fan so far of this product. I'm aware it's nothing like spectacular. You're not opening a box with two autographs and a mem card, but for a cheap rip around the holiday season. Got some fun chrome parallels. Not complaining on my end. Marquise Brown. You can tell if that's like a silver or what. Dalvin Cook again. Got Miles Garrett. They're playing as I'm recording this. Miles Sanders. Instant Classics. Captain Comeback. These types of cards I think are sweet. Colts versus Buccaneers. I think I remember this game. Probably by 21 with five minutes in the fourth. One of the greatest comebacks in league history. Bad day for Colts and the word comeback. But nice card. Again, classic combos. This should be numbered on the back. Peyton Manning, Reggie Wayne. Numbered at 79, or sorry, 74 of 99. On that, again, it looks gold. Gold isn't exactly like the value of these, which is funny. Charles Woodson. And Kayvon Thibodeau. Thibodeau? I think it's Thibodeau. The golds aren't really the, the cream of the crop, I would say. And again, even the like no names, for example, are gonna pop out of nowhere. Davis Mills. Card felt thick. Ryan Tannehill. Matt Stafford. It's a Marcus Swear. That's a funny. It looks very funny written out like that. Travis Etienne Jr. We do have a number George Pickens out of 50. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, maybe just the back. Maybe I can find the other one. I'll have to take a look. I'm going to set this off to the side for now. But there's a green back on that. I think that's what makes it numbered. Jamal Lewis. Matt Corral. Here. Let me find that while it's top of mind. Some good stuff. If I can find... There it is. All right. Your George Pickens comparison as to why that one is numbered. Same exact front. But the green back. That's all, that's all it is. Nothing crazy. But that's the classics difference right there. Oh, that did not open well. All right, two more packs to go. And I am throwing cards around. With Dak Prescott. Let's see if they can bounce back. That was a rough, rough game against the Texans. Najee Harris. Brandon Cooks. Jameson Williams. Lines are looking good. Jameson Williams could be a good one. Leonard Fournette. We have a numbered Anquan Bolden at a 99. Not too bad. Got Ronnie Lott. And make me flip it all around. Chris Olave. I'm just happy there's real pictures. Last year, I loved classics, but the one downside was. Like Trevor Lawrence had a Photoshop picture, but you knew his number. Mac Jones was in his like double zeros for the Pats. And you don't want that, but looks very nice this year. There is a massive print line though on this Von Miller. Right there, you can see it. We do have a silver here for the last pack. Von Miller, 
Gary Judy. There we go. TB12. I would love a numbered TB12. Are there two silvers? There's two silvers in this one pack. Got Herbie. One of our silvers. This is Steve Young, Jerry Rice. Classic combos. Here. Rookie is our next. Damien Pierce. That's actually a nice card. Here, I'll put the silvers with the, the numbered stuff. Damien Pierce. I pulled his auto like right before the season started. Went to the Burbank card show. I think I sold it for like 30 bucks instantly. This was out of like a prestige box. So he's got some hype around him. He's doing well. Got Eric Dickerson on the Colts. And our last card, Danny Gray for the Niners. Even living in the Bay Area, I'm not sure. I've heard a lot of him, but overall, that was a fun rip. I would say, look at all these Chrome cards that you get out of a pretty like low-end product. Not too bad. A lot of rookies in there. And we got tons of, whether it's silvers, numbered cards here, the greenbacks. We've got all sorts of chrome. We got some fun with the gold hyper, that green cracked ice. We got the no name, some timeless tributes. That that was a good product. I would say definitely one of the more underrated ones if you're looking for something fun this holiday season to just quickly open up. I think that's a very solid, I don't want to say investment because it's not like you're trying to buy these cards and flip them, but very much worth the money in my book. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Next video we'll do will be a massive pack opening on Christmas Day. So hopefully you guys enjoy that when it comes out. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. And subscribe, subscribe so you don't miss anything going forward. Comment again with what you're asking Santa for, what your favorite card was from the break, anything like that. I love hearing from you guys. Be sure to like the video if you did. Drop that thumbs up. It means the world to me. We've had a ton of support this year. Can't thank you all enough. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you guys again soon.